Let's do a predicate logic proof. And let's just start with a fairly simple proof. For any x, if x is a, then x is b. Is numbered or anything? Um, premise one. Premise two. For any x, uh, x is a. And we'll prove that C is B. How's that? Okay. So, what would your first step be on this proof, Mark? I would do a UI. Okay, universal instantiation on line one. You generally, when you see a lot of quantifiers, you want to get out of the quantifiers and down into singular sentences, don't you? Yeah. You want to get rid of the quantifiers, generally speaking, and get down into singulars. And with UI, I can replace these X's with Pretty much anything I want. Any constant. Any constant. And I pick C. Okay, so for an so obvious that. reason. AC, horseshoe, BC. Okay. So to do a universal instantiation, we strip away the quantifier, we bring the sentence down, we replace the variable uniformly all the way across with a constant of our choice, and it can be any constant we wish, can't it? Yeah. And otherwise, we keep everything else the same. And it's important to remember that this rule, universal instantiation, can only be applied to a line that is a universal quantification, where a universal quantification is a line that begins with a universal quantifier that's not negated, that has no tilde over it. And the quantifier's scope is the entire line. So the only time I can take a quantifier off is if it's the main connective, the main operator. If it's, the, if its scope is the entire line, yes. So we remove the quantifier, we bring this down, we replace the variable with a constant of our choosing, and we applied UI to line one. Good. Okay. Let's do the same thing with line two. Okay. It's another universal statement. I can do UI, mm -hmm. I can pick any constant I want, I'll pick C again. Okay, so we'll bring down, we'll strip away the quantifier. We'll bring the formula down, but replace the x with c, and that's universal instantiation on 2. Okay. okay. Now my the old workhorse modus ponens kicks in. I get a modus ponens on 3 and 5, giving me bc. You like that rule, don't you? Well, it's a good rule. It's a I see it, it's, it's just a solid rule. So modus ponens now applies, now that we're down to singular sentences, we think of this as p, p horseshoe, q, and what did you bring down? bc. The q part. Q part. All right. Modus ponens, three and four. And I get the conclusion, so I'm done. Good. So uh, you could. So let's look at this. Could I apply modus? Could I apply universal instantiation to a line that looked like this? Uh, no, I couldn't. Why? Because this tilde is the main connective. Mm -hmm. The uh, quantifier is not ranging over the entire statement. Mm -hmm. It's not ranging over this. Right. So I can't. I need, I need to get rid of that tilde before I could do. A UI on this. That's right. So I can't apply a UI to this. No. And I couldn't apply universal instantiation to this either, could I? Well, maybe in Georgia, but not here. No, you can't. <laughs> Again, this quantifier here is only ranging over this part. That this quantifier is only ranging over this area. The universal, neither universal quantifier is ranging over the entire statement. So the only time I can do UI on a universal quantifier is if it is the main operator. If I just had that, I could do UI on this thing, because now that's the main operator. If that was the whole line. Right. If I just had this on a line by itself, I could do UI and take that off, because mm -hmm. now that's the main operator, but not as you have it there. Right, so, so because this quantifier does not range over the whole, uh, because the scope of this quantifier isn't the whole line, I cannot apply, I cannot apply UI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's do another nice, easy one. How about this? Let's say um, B has the property A. Um, if something is A, then everything is G. And uh, so we'll conclude that um, mm, we'll conclude that E has okay. the property G. How's that? Okay. 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 So what do you want to do? Well, I mean, again, we generally want to get rid of quantifiers when we do a proof, if we see them. Unfortunately, I can't take that quantifier off right now using mm -hmm. EI because 
that quantifier is not ranging over the entire statement. Right. I cannot do UI here either because that quantifier is not ranging over the whole statement. Right. Neither one of these are the main operator, so I can't mm -hmm. take them off. Right. Uh, but what I can do is use line one. I can take this thing, and I can do an EG on this. If, yes. say, Barney likes apples, mm -hmm. with all that something <laughs> likes apples. So if I do an EG on this, I would end up getting this. Ah, okay, let's and do let's that. let's go from there. So existential generalization is applied to a singular statement. If the whole line is a singular statement, in this, as in this case, what I do is I take the statement and I rewrite it, except that the constant is replaced by an X or a Y or a Z, which is, which is then bound by the existential quantifier like that. Okay. So basically, I take this and I bring it down, replacing the constant with a variable bound by the existential quantifier. The reason I did this is so I could do a modus ponens on line two. Okay, so I'll write EG okay. on line one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, I just did this thing. DG so that I could do a modus ponens. Go ahead and go around us. It won't bother us. Run right go run right run through, through us. <laughs> You're now famous. Okay. okay, so now this matches that. So what do we have? Well, I got a modus ponens available. That would let me pull this out. Okay, so P, P horseshoe Q. You're going to bring down the Q part. So we got P, P horseshoe Q, we brought down the Q. So that's just modus ponens on two and three. And three. Okay. This is saying everything is green. I don't know. Everything is G, green. Mm -hmm. Well, if everything's green, then virtually anything I say, anything I point to would be green. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, well, E, Evelyn. Evelyn's green. So I would do it a UI on line four, replacing mm -hmm. the X with a small E. With a okay. Small e. Good, because we can do UI because the quantifier is universal and it ranges over the whole formula, the whole line, and we can bring it down and we can instantiate the X with any constant we wish, no restrictions, so we'll instantiate the X with uh, E by UI on 4. That's the conclusion, so we're done once again. Mm -hmm. Because from this we inferred this by UI. Mm -hmm. So there's a, how to do a few proofs. We're going to do one more in there. Good. And then we'll be done. How's that? Good.